Wait, hold up. We're not in Greece yet. Okay, rewind. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, come on. Keep going. A little bit more. Come on. Rewind. Okay, here we go. Our travels have to start somewhere, don't they? Hello everyone, welcome back to Blow the Travelers. And today we're going to Greece. The city of Athens is one of the oldest named cities in the world. It has been around for at least 5,000 years and has been the capital of Greece for 3,000 years. Walking to our house in Rome. It's not Rome. Walking to our house in Athens. We got in our apartment. The Acropolis is a hill in the middle of Old Athens. On top of the hill sits several temples, most notably the Parthenon. The hill has, in, has been inhabited since the 4th millennium BC. Pericles, a important Greek in the Golden Age, around the times of the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars, began the construction of some of the most famous temples on the Acropolis. Uh, the Parthenon and the Temple of Athena, Nike, to name a few. Some of the buildings, including the Parthenon, were damaged in an explosion in the Mauryan War. standing in front of the Athena Parthenon, which is dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, and it began its construction in 447 BCE, which was the height of the Athenian power, and it's truly amazing to be here because Athena is my favorite goddess. Oh, with that, that's a marathon thing, isn't it? Maybe. Oh God, look at those columns. But somehow, I mean... Uh... Okay, so here we are at the, it was the first temple of Athena, next it was the um, Parthenon, but here's the first one, and it was actually where um, the Athenians found the patron god or goddess of the Athens, and so it was Poseidon and Athena both wanted to be the patron god of the city, and they both presented gifts. Poseidon gave them a geyser of salt water, and Athena gave them an olive tree, which is a much better gift because it um, provides them with food, cooking, like olive oil, and um, they can clean themselves with it. So they picked her to be the patron goddess, and it is now called Athens because after her, after Athena. After the Acropolis, we headed out and got some lunch, and it was pretty amazing. The Arch of Hadron, which in Greek um, is Hadron's Gate, is a uh, gateway resembling a Roman triumphal arch. These statues are recreations of the ones that used to sit on the west side of the Parthenon. It shows the story of the competition between Athena and Poseidon to see who would be the um, patron god of Athens. After the Acropolis Museum, we um, went to get some lunch and then we headed to um, the Agora. The Areopagus is a rocky outcropping near the Acropolis. It is also known as Mars Hill. Back in the day, 
court was held there, and the Apostle Paul preached there. Here we are, we're standing outside of the most well-preserved uh, Greek temple and it is made from marble and in a uh, Doric style and it's de uh, dedicated to the god Euphaestus uh, who you might uh, know as the god of fire, craftsmanship, and uh, metalworking. The Agora is a wide open space where people came and had things and talked about religion, philosophy, and politics. And it is also a market where people bought and sold goods. Personifications of the Iliad and Odyssey. After the Agora, we went and got some gelato, which was really good. On our last day in Athens, we drove south uh, to a temple for Poseidon. And uh, before we got there, we went to the sea and went swimming. The three powerful gods are Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. They are the sons of Kronos and Rhea. During the war between the gods and the titans, the three powerful gods received gifts from their uncles, the Cyclopses. Zeus got a lightning bolt, Poseidon got a trident, and Hades got a helm of darkness. Together with their new weapons, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades defeat the titans. Zeus becomes the ruler of the heavens, Poseidon ruled over the sea, and Hades took over the underworld. It was amazing to travel in Greece because of all the Greek mythology we've been studying. It was grat very gratifying to go all the, see all the temples, monuments, and statues for all the Greek gods we've been reading about. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe below. And thanks for traveling with us today. And we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao. Thank you.
Thank you.